Welcome back. We've reported on the so-called American Rescue Plan and how it's really a blue state bailout, but it's even worse than that. There are strings attached to the over $300 billion given to states and localities. One of them is no new tax cuts. It actually stops states from doing tax cuts. Here to discuss all of that and more, Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn. Let's get to Biden's, Biden's bailout in a second, but I just love your reaction to the news we reported at the top of the show. Uh, President Biden finally saying something about Andrew Cuomo, totally inadequate as we discussed earlier. What's your take on where the Cuomo scandal stands tonight? I tell you, I think you're exactly right. It is inadequate. And there are growing calls by a bipartisan group of legislators at the local, state, and federal level who are calling for him to resign. And probably he should be listening more to the people that are there in Albany and spending less time trying to plead his case across the country. Yeah, I think a lot of people will agree with that and not yeah. just Republicans. That's what's interesting about this, the, the way Democrats are finally weighing in. But still nothing from Vice President Harris, as I noted earlier, the great champion of the Me Too movement. You'll remember that from those hearings. Uh, Senator, let's talk about the, um, the bailout bill. It seems to me that this particular aspect of it, the requirement that if, if states take the, any of the bailout money, then they are forbidden or can be stopped by the Treasury Secretary from implementing tax cuts in their states. That is a blatant federal power grab. That's like very blatant. But it seems to me the whole thing is a federal power grab. Yes, you're exactly right. It is a federal power grab. And Steve, what they're trying to do is go for control and power over all the states and the cities. They're trying to force their will and centralize federal government. So this is the way they're going about it. And if you take the money, then you cannot cut taxes. Now, the reason they're doing this, I think, is because you have several state legislatures this year that are trying to do what Tennessee did probably 20 years ago, which is to make certain that we never have a state income tax. And even putting it in our state constitution in 2014 in the form of an amendment. But see, the federal government wants to tax you so that they have more to spend. So if they're going to give money to your local governments, they want you to be beholden to the federal government. So it doesn't matter if it is telling you how you can tax, when you can tax. It doesn't matter if it's telling you how you're going to run elections. It doesn't matter if it's about gun rights. What they're trying to do is take control and micromanage every yeah. city, every county, and every state in this country. It's really interesting as I hear you talk. It reminds me actually of the EU. They had this, this policy of stopping tax competition, as they called it, which is really about stopping countries like the UK from cutting taxes to make themselves more competitive. Very quickly, Senator, is there anything we can do? It seems to me that so much of this is unconstitutional. Can we fight that case legally? You're going to see some of the states that will take this to court as well as they should. And then legislatively, you'll see us begin to go back in and file legislation to pair some of these provisions that were stuck into this bill in order to give the Democrats control. What they want to do is to dominate, to make it impossible for there to be a two-party system. They want to run the whole mm. show, and they're using this, H.R. 1, and other pieces of legislation, such as defund the police, in order to centralize their power and control. Exactly. Senator, great to see you as always. Good to see, see you. See you soon. All right.